Hello guys, I'm here to give you all a tutorial, at least a general idea of how to mix Utiloid vocals. Today we are going to use my Utiloid, Hirito Itsumi, and I'll just give you guys some ideas of what to do. This, the voice bank for Hirito will be in the description, but I'll show you guys a basic at least what I hear usually of just give you guys to give you guys an idea of what I hear on most Vocaloid videos, Vocaloid and Utiloid. If you and as you see, I don't really like that personally. So what I do is I turn the music up to blast. So it has a real hit to it. And to just give a basic idea of what I do to most Vocaloid vocals, Vocaloid and Utiloid, um, I go and I apply a limiter just because I can press the vocals. I can press the vocals in here. Now, I'm going to say this right now as a fair warning. All Vocaloid and Utiloids are different. So what works for me is not going to work for you. As you can see, these are just basic carves out, carving outs of what to do. Make sure to like get out, at least personally, I like to get out a lot of low-end frequencies so it doesn't like go up against like the beat. And I would say this right now, Make sure there isn't like any tss, like extreme tss sounds, you know, because that really ruins the song. It feels like I like to just use all these different things. I make sure that it's like a little bit wider by doing this. I add a stereo shaper. It's a very simple thing to do. And then my harmonies are over here and I have them turned down so it doesn't clash too much with the two main vocals. And I will give you guys just a little bit of a... I'm going to just go to a random part. I'm going to show this. This is what it would sound fully mixed. Okay. Now I'll show you guys what makes it sound like that and make, what makes it so different. I have this air, this, I have this fucking fresh air. It will save your life and then some. Use a chorus, no matter what. Use a chorus, no matter how much you have to turn it down. Use a chorus. It makes the vocal wider and makes it more clean. I also use um, reverb and delay a lot, along with this helpful program, TDR Nova as um, a de -esser. It is very helpful. You don't even understand. I'll show you a cool effect I did. It's not really that cool, but it's simple. Okay, so that's from just adding a little bit of a filter right here. The old telephone filter. It's very simple stuff. Just make sure your vocals, all of your vocals, they cannot like have too much of like a tss sound. And actually, for some vocaloids, you want to do pretty much the opposite. In some utiloids, what you have to do is you have to look at the utiloid and then see what sound basically brings out the characteristics of the utiloid. If the utiloid doesn't even have a provider, I usually like make it sound extremely robotic and then it sounds a lot better. It just, you know, just do your thing and 
Yeah. That simple. 